Hello again, Olympic gold medalist Russell Mark here from Go Shooting. In a couple of previous videos, we've talked about the basic generic stance for trap. Today, I want to show you how you can customize that stance to cope for your technique and more importantly, your body's flexibility. Everybody is different in terms of their ability to rotate to either the left or to the right. Your age, your general body maintenance and health are all factors in this equation. But in order to shoot trap or any other discipline, to be honest correctly, you need to know your body's limitations. Previously, we have spoken about the generic trap stance for right-hand shooters as follows. On station three on a domestic trap layout or every station on an Olympic trap range, you would place your left foot at 30 degrees and your right foot at 60 degrees. I like to talk in terms of a clock face, therefore your left foot is at one o'clock and your right foot is at two o'clock. This puts the middle of your body at 45 degrees from centre. Obviously for left-handers you do the opposite, your right foot would be at 11 o'clock and your left foot would be at 10 o'clock. The width of your feet apart really is determined by your body shape and of course what discipline you're shooting. Olympic trap shooters tend to stand much closer together so they can rotate from their ankles. That stance is a great starting point, but is it right for everyone? Well, of course not. Here's a way to check if it's correct for you and how to tailor something that is. Use station three on a DTL or an American trap range or any station on an Olympic trap field. Put two markers about six meters in front of you at 60 degrees each side of center. So loosen your spine up a little bit. The older you get, the more you'll have to do this. Adopt your basic stance, empty gun. Now we'll mount the gun and rotate to the left and I'll go as far to the left as I can before my spine tells me to stop. You'll feel it pinch. So that point is about there. I'll then get my stick and mark that point. And then I'll do the same over to the right hand side. And it's about there. So let's put some cones there and see what the rotation difference is. So let's see how we went. Our markers are telling me to the left, I can nearly rotate to 60 degrees, about 55. But if I go now to the right, I come up a lot shorter. I can only get to about 40 degrees at the most. This is telling me that I really need to change my stance just a little bit squarer. So because the red cone was well short of the right hand marker, it tells me my stance is a little bit too open. So it just means I need to tinker it a little bit, move it across another 15 degrees, and that will equate to me moving both the same distance to the left and the same distance to the right. What it really tells me is I'm getting old. This is a great little exercise you can do at home if you've got some space in your backyard. Everybody is different. Don't be afraid to experiment. I hope this little piece of advice helps. And as always, we look forward to seeing you at a go shooting range really soon.